Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Low Tech Health. Today, <laughs> Wasabi Walnut was hurting my tummy Wednesday, and I gotta tell you, it was that guy who, as soon as I saw the recorder for some reason, he backed up. Big old trucker, looks like the Cadillac of semis, is riding our tail, coming into our little town from our visit with our, our friend this weekend. It's been, it's been a hard weekend, but it's been a very meaningful one, as it always is. Our little parts in this universe being infinitesimally small, but extraordinarily meaningful continue. And it also <laughs> brings us back to no biological free lunch. There's nothing in this world that does not have an equal and opposite response, especially when it comes to your chemicals and your biology. And a big part of that is kind of weird and it's uh, thoughts, like thoughts that you project can have a physical stress upon yourself and they can just kind of hit you out of nowhere by you letting your guard down in ways that I'd say is having your bubble popped. There's just, just a little cliche I'm going to add. In my book of cliches, American Swagger going on sale as soon as I can get my act together and <laughs> listen to the chapters and do the work to not only write the book, but find myself, hopefully, in a town near you. Anyways. I want to bring up a weird thing that happened that uh, I guess I'm kind of just catching a true wind of, of fucking Tom Segura's crazy stand-up slash athlete slash dancer's body just destroying itself in a awesome move that was going to be look like a layup to slam dunk like he was going to do the thing where you throw the ball off the backboard and then and then dunk it like he looked like he had a real strong move prepared for us tore his patellar tendon which is the ten or no right no the ligament right the patellar ligament that connects the quadricep to the the knee which wait a second little big boy are ligaments to connect bones to bones so wouldn't that be a tendon if it's connecting the quadriceps to the patella because it's too much business for <clears throat> tendons connecting tendon or muscle connecting to muscles bone. to bone right yeah. little inclex little slap around there for you guys but he he has had kind of a history of laughing really really hard at people getting hurt on the internet which is an interesting energy to put out and kind of like i'm not just saying laugh really hard like snicker like he's like almost cried and i think he has cried like real real hard belly laughs for some of these some of these injuries and he broke not only a rip not only this ligament right are we are we looking it up it's a tendon it's from the kneecap to the shoulder yeah it is a tendon so again a little bit of misinformation maybe going out there but he, he ruptured his I mean, not to tell him what he did, but from what we understand, it's a tendon that connects your quadriceps to the patella bone, which is your kneecap that he ripped, as well as his humerus, which is not funny at all. This is his funny bone. And uh, if you haven't seen it, it's pretty ugly. It's, it's worth a watch. And I think it's a good check of yourself to see how you feel when you watch this, because I don't know, maybe... Maybe it's not wrong to laugh at people who get hurt. I don't know. I, I, I am a big fan of making fun of other people when they do something goofy that we need to kind of shame them out of as a tribe in a way that isn't, like, again, deleterious to our spirit and our um, like destructiveness. Like, I always follow that thumper idea of if you have nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all. Also, skirting the line of being constructive criticism can just kind of disguised as humor to make fun of somebody. Uh, but watching it, ooh, it makes my ankles hurt. I didn't feel good watching it. And I think it's a phase, hopefully, we all go through. Or I don't, maybe some of us get to avoid it. But laughing at others' suffering, <laughs> it's, kind of, it's kind of childish to do because you're not really... It's not joy, and it leads to a path of really, really hurting your stomach because it's uh, it cuts you off from power, from from the tribal power. 
which is a goofy thing and uh, really skirts Jung's ideas of psychology. And I can continue to go on and ramble, but I figure you guys are just waiting for Sophie to talk. <laughs> so I'm gonna let her take over. And thank you guys for listening. I feel like we actually did a, like, a couple of health tidbits, which I never do. World's worth, worth haircut coming through right now. Well, not worth haircut. Thanks to re- oh shit. It's no, oh no. It's not the world's worst haircut. I couldn't even say it. It's so wrong. That's this beautiful haircut. Oh, that hurt a lot. See, what happened just now <laughs> hurts my belly because I said something I didn't mean. It's not the haircut that's bad, it's just grown out. It's me and the way I've not <laughs> combed it. It's my fault and how it's grown on my head. But I'll leave you with my foot in my mouth and with Sophie trying to keep her foot in. Love you guys.